Yo, welcome back to my channel. And there's a saying that there's no such thing as an easy game in the UEFA Champions League. Never has it been more applicable within here in the quarterfinal stages on the road to Cardiff as Liverpool FC travel on the roads of Madrid, Spain to take on Zinedine Zidane's reigning defending European champions Real Madrid. The most prestigious club in European football as far as honours are concerned. The 11 time champions in this competition. Liverpool of course as we are noted on many occasions in this campaign are not without prestige themselves, five time European champions. With a touch of triviality of course, the homage to Istanbul as we face Galatasaray in the previous leg coming back from aggregate death to qualify for the quarterfinals. Apologies for the delay on this video, you can probably tell my previous microphone was dying and was on its way out. I've got a brand smacking new microphone so no excuses, no delays as we approach the business end of the UEFA Champions League. Of course it's the unsurprising 4-4-3 formation that Real Madrid are opting to line up. A superstar starting 11, Zinedine Zidane leaves no tricks up his sleeve. The only surprise exclusion is James Rodriguez for Isco. When you make it this far in the competition, you want the opposition to put out their best lineup. You want to beat the best. And the best front four we have to offer start tonight in Madrid. And we are off the quarterfinal. Begins now. Can Liverpool recreate that magic that saw them beat them? 4-0 at Anfield. 1-0 here in Madrid in 2009. Gav Bell picks up the ball, tons of space, give and go from Karen Benzema, but over the top to Isco. Deflected from Matip and Cristiano Ronaldo opens the scoring, is 1 0 already here at that burner bow. The world's most famous player for the world's most famous club. Five minutes played, and it's the least desirable start. You want to make in the quarter final tie against the club against the European champions Real Madrid. The defense was all over the shop, Sarko well out of position but let's not take away from Cristiano Ronaldo's composure to put his team in front. Origi being pursued by Carvajal, trying to tuck it into Coutinho and fires a shot on goal and Daniel Sturridge converts into an empty net. Liverpool have leveled the score just four minutes after Cristiano Ronaldo signed his name on the score sheet. Daniel Sturridge is proving himself to be some kind of an MVP in the Champions League six goals now for Liverpool. May not necessarily score in every game, but scores the influential goals. Divock Origi contributing all the labour for that goal and Daniel Sturridge claiming the glory. Marcelo getting one up on Nathaniel Klein. It's going to be the battle of the speeding bullets in terms of fullbacks. Karen Benzema gets a shot blocked from Mohamed Al Sacco. Real Madrid with the predictable short corner. Tony Cruz spinning out wide to Marcelo. Gets a shot away on goal. Dan Bale tipped away. What a block from Loris Corias. That is one heck of a block from Loris Corias. Preventing a certainty of a goal. The Galacticos trying to play out from the back. Pepe be dispossessed by Philip Coutinho as he's trying to hold it up, looking for an opening. Interception for Mino to take a touch in the literal middle of the park. What a start to this game. Less than 20 minutes to play and we've already seen a goal from either side. For Mino trying to hold it up, nice trickery as he tries to delay Francisco Isco. Climb with the ball in and for Mino converts past Keila Navas. What a spot we find ourselves in, two away goals against the European champions Real Madrid in Madrid. And Roberto Firmino can add that to his CV, a player who's been lacking confidence with all the potential in the world in this Champions League campaign. Puts his team in front in a battle between the world's two most prestigious clubs at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. Nathaniel Klein's early ball in leaves Pepe with his thumb up his ass, stranded as Firmino. Takes the honours. Benzema couldn't quite keep it in play. Moreno takes advantage. Liverpool can break, possibly getting a third goal. Origi now rounds Luka Modric. Real Madrid defeated Liverpool here in 2014. One goal to nil. One goal to nil back in 2009 to Liverpool. As it's over the top to Daniel Sturridge. Keeps it in, but it's out. He's out for a goal kick. Jogging his way through the middle of the park, looking for an opening. East Coast finds Cristiano Ronaldo, Kevin Benzema returns it back. 
to the Portuguese legend. And Ronaldo finds his way on the score sheet twice in one night. It's his brace back to square one. And for all the argument on the Pets forums about individuality, individuality right there. Cristiano Ronaldo, the most composed player on the pitch. The threat is very much real when he's through a goal. Look at the reliability, the composure. The typical shot fate to send Nathaniel Klein to the ground. And Mr. Portugal says thank you very much. Coutinho taking it in his stride. Knocked on by Divock Origi. And Coutinho running down those flanks. What else could possibly happen in this first half that we haven't already seen? Origi with a shot blocked. Marino with a second chance, and Firmino, he tucks it in past Keylor Navas, unbelievable. Roberto Firmino on the score sheet, not once but twice in one half of football against one of the world's best clubs. We spoke earlier about a player lacking in confidence, not quite fulfilling his potential, but Roberto Firmino overriding those disputes. But when you put your side in front, not once but twice against a team like the Galacticos, it increases your stock tenfold and you become a world beater at that moment in time. Could we possibly see any more goals in this inventable first half? East goes for a goal, Nathaniel Klein fails to block, but Karias covers his ass. Fantastic save from the German. East goes scoring is a certainty. Cristiano Ronaldo swamped by red shirts. Two minutes left to play of the first half, and Divock Origi can break for Liverpool. Firmino carrying it forward, marauding. Now Coutinho, his fellow countryman, stops to possess his East Go, keeps the ball alive, and Firmino tucks it inside. Cruz, and he's brought down by Cristiano Ronaldo. Surely a yellow card, yes, for the literal champion of Europe with Madrid and Portugal. One minute of added time to be played and Nathaniel Klein shuts down, shuts down Tony Cruz and it's an historic end to an historic first half and that's Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid, it's Real Madrid 2, Liverpool 3. Henderson nice back heel, Tony Cruz slamming into Henderson's leg, evades the yellow card, oh look at that, how is that not a broken shin? Marcelo knocks it on to Benzema. Going for the early ball here. Matip clears away to safety. He's going. Why not go from that range? It's a comfortable save from Karius. He's going. Setting a cruise over the top. Look for Benzema early. Karius is out of position. Looping over the defender and goalkeeper. How on earth did Karius make up the ground to stop that from crossing the line? Not even a replay. What the fuck? Ronaldo cuts inside Klein, Barrino stands off and tops it at Carias. Centre will save, is a corner kick to Real Madrid. Cruz with a corner, ball comes swinging in, Matip couldn't clear enough. Modric, shot blocked, second time lucky for Matip to clear, fails. Bale picks it up, tucks it past Carias. The Welshman's been problematic for Liverpool, finally gets his acknowledgement. As he gets on the score sheet, but three goals are peace. Liverpool with a slight advantage, the away goal moving over the European champions. I have a feeling there may very well be more goals in this game. But if it was to end three goals are peace, Liverpool absolutely have the advantage with the away goal through the end nil-nil at Anfield. Great tackle from Ramos. We approach the hour mark. Origi back to Henderson, taken out completely by Tony Cruz and that must be a booking. Finally, a yellow card for the German. But if Tony Cruz and Jordan Henson been locked in battle like two Bisons all night. Marcelo, very long ball searching for Gareth Bell who takes it on. First time into the box and Karen Bentemark on Burtz. Unbelievable stuff here at the Bernabeu. Karen Bentema puts Real Madrid back in front where they began the game. And with that, we have just witnessed one of the most ridiculous goals of the season. One for the highlight reel. Marcelo switching the play from one flank literally to another. Bale in space. Crossing it in before the ball even hits the ground. And Benzema with a diving header. Not the most graceful. He may have well have just volleyed it. But opting to put his skull on the line. Origi flicking it onto storage. Ah, oh, nasty touch from the Englishman. Firmino keeps it alive. 
Now Henderson will have a ton of space in that midfield. Nathaniel Klein out wide looking for the opening. Firmino is denied by Pepe. Coutinho spreading out wide to the Spaniard. The speeding bullet. Moreno athletic clearance. Just over an hour played, seven goals have been witnessed at the Santiago Bernabeu as Real Madrid come forward one more time. Gareth Bale with a 1-2 to Isco and he slides it past Corias. And now the European champions have breathing space and Zinedine Zidane's option to play Isco ahead of Hamas Rodriguez pays off. Gareth Bale influential for the second time this evening, scoring and setting up his goal. And Origi dispossesses Ramos, he's past Pepe and he can't convert it past Keita Navas, can't get the job done. Seven minutes remain a normal time for Liverpool to at least pull a goal back over Real Madrid to pull it beyond reasonable doubt. Marcelo right the far post on the folly, half volley even. Opting for pure power over placement and Kouraias has it scouted. Here is Danny Ings, last one of the dice as he looks for Mane and that is cut out. And the referee puts the whistle to his lips, blows for full time. And Real Madrid have a two goal cushion going into Merseyside in the return leg in the fortnight. Not forgetting Liverpool's three away goals, a two goal margin is more than enough to take them through to the semi-final. Real Madrid five, Liverpool three. So an eight goal filler culminates the first leg of the quarterfinals. It's not over till the fat lady sings and a big fat 3-0 deficit for Manchester United, the only other British club in the competition. A quick look at the goal ranking and no doubt Higuain contributed to that 3-0 victory. 14 clear goals. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, like it, subscribe to me, please. It means so much. And I'll see you in the second leg on Merseyside in a bit.